guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning back in. I'm so excited because A, I've done a makeup look that I am proud of. I love this. Oh, purple is my favorite color, first of all. Second of all, that look that you guys saw me do with the, the smoky eye, yet yeah, that just did not, that was not up to par for me. Um, <laughs> this, mm, I'm loving it. I love, love it. I would wear this anywhere, but uh, I use the Ciate London, um, I have a little picture of it right here, volume two, can't remember the name of it, <laughs> but I use their purple shadows and oh, blended like a dream, like a dream, I love this look. So um, I am very happy and on top of that, my boxy charm came in from Ipsy, so why not film something when I am feeling just happy and beautiful and I love my makeup look and I want to share this with you guys so it's like yes <laughs> so let's go ahead and dive in oh all right the first item is from Il Maquillage which I love this brand uh, this is the black card lift curl and lengthen mascara now I do prefer the other one that they have that's in the silver tube um, this one if I'm not mistaken is like a little skinny wand yeah, really good for like lower lashes, um, but I'll still put it to use, so not a bad one. I just prefer the other one, but I still like that. Okay, the next item is from Dr. B Lab. This is the Hydrating Serum to Highlighter. Highlighting Serum to Highlighter. Interesting. Okay. Um, let's see. What does it say? How do you use it? After you moisturize, apply AM a dime size amount and spread evenly. Apply makeup as usual or wear alone. Interesting. This is what the tube looks like. Has anybody heard of this or tried this? I would love to know. Let me know down in the comments below. Um, that is interesting. All right. Mm -hmm. The next item is from Be Your Own Desire. This is a liquid lip. Yes, Longing Lips Liquid Lipstick infused with vitamin E in the shade Straightforward. Please be like a pinky nude <laughs> that is up my alley. Oh, yeah. Look how pretty that is. Actually, it looks a little bit like a, mm, I want to say like peachy pink or maybe the lights are throwing. Oh, it smells like candy. Mm, I love that. Okay. Oh, that is a beautiful shade. That is definitely something I would wear. One of the colors I would like put in my daily routine. Oh, and I love it. It smells like candy. <laughs> that is exciting. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to can't wait to do a look with that. That's so freaking pretty. Beautiful. Love it. Okay. The next item we have is from La Russe. And this is like a little pocket. Ooh, brushes. Hello. Okay, so like a little travel pouch for brushes. Very nice. And then we have eye brushes, my favorite. <laughs> we have a angled shadow brush. Uh, we have just a fluffy brush. This one is a little bit more on the smaller side of a fluffy brush. This would definitely I would be used for like my outer corner. I love that. Oh, and then we have like a shadow brush. Oh, those are gonna get put to use like immediately. Love that. And then we have a palette from Laura Geller. This is the Seasonless Staples Wildflower Wishes 14 Multi Finish Eyeshadows. All right. Now, how many of you guys actually use Laura Geller palettes? I do not. Most of them just haven't appealed to me, I guess you can say. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm a palette snob and I prefer more high-end palettes. 
I don't know. All right, but I love the packaging on this. It's beautiful. And then, oh, this is definitely like, I don't know, kind of also giving me fall vibes a little bit. There's the shadows right there. There's a green, you got an orange, you got some browns, golds. It's a very pretty palette. I would say this like a more could be a very good fall palette. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, I kind of want to play in this one. <laughs> um, this is probably the first Laura Geller palette that I have want to like really just dip my fingers in. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that beautiful? I might have to give this one a shot, you guys. If you guys have you tried this formula or a Laura Geller palette, let me know down in the comments below your thoughts before I go like playing in it because I want to make sure that, you know, people kind of say like it's got good, that it's a good formula, easy to blend, things like that. Um, I don't want to waste a palette if I'm not going to be able to uh, make it work. So yeah. All right, so really quickly, let's go over this boxy charm. We got the eye brushes, which I love. This is probably one of my favorites. Um, we got the lipstick, which is absolutely beautiful. Such a, oh, a lovely shade. I love it. Uh, we got the mascara, which I love getting mascaras, you guys. Uh, we have the highlighter to serum, which is interesting. And then we have the beautiful palette, um, which I cannot wait to hear your thoughts. So all in all, I think this is actually a pretty good box for the month of July. And I cannot wait to see what we get in our Ipsy bag, which is right around the corner. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like this video, please give it a big old thumbs up for me. I'd really appreciate it. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.